In 48 hours, the state Supreme Court will discuss a problem frustrating the new Bernalillo County DA. Just like that teen's case, judges letting dangerous criminals out on bail. Tonight, Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton shows you how attorneys fought to keep one cold case murder suspect behind bars, but lost. Yeah, Shelly, police waited 20 years to find this suspect. Yet after he was indicted for a 1996 slaying, he paid nothing to get out of jail thanks to a judge. All this despite warnings from the FBI. Since 2015, strict court rules and deadlines handed down to relieve congestion in Bernalillo County courts have crippled prosecutors. Already this year, many have been unable to secure high bonds for dangerous offenders, a stumbling block the state Supreme Court will address Wednesday. So far, we've, we've been granted detention about 21 times, so it's, it's extremely frustrating. Take Jedediah Rose. Last year, cold case detectives connected his DNA to a home invasion slaying from 1996. He was indicted, but a judge let him walk out of a jail without paying a dime. He slapped Rose with a $5,000 unsecured bond, which he'd only have to pay if he missed a court date. In January, Rose was arrested again for violating his release, but the same judge let him walk on another unsecured bond. Here's what's more disturbing. Today we learned that prosecutors pleaded with the judge to reconsider Rose's conditions of release. They even provided eye-opening data from the FBI to back them up. Court documents say FBI agents determined the crime Rose is accused of is similar to three to four unsolved murders in Albuquerque during the 1990s. But even with that opinion in hand, the judge let Rose go, something DA Raul Torres doesn't want to see again. I cannot take violent repeat offenders off the streets of Albuquerque in state court, then I will use every available tool to get them detained and get them dealt with the way they should be dealt with. According to court records, Rose's trial will begin in October. Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News.